At NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, technicians in the Vehicle Assembly Building make additional imaging scans of Space Shuttle Discovery's external fuel tank. On December 29th, technicians scanned below the external tank's foam insulation around the entire intertank section to look for any issues like cracks. Workers using computed radiography scanners that work like an X-ray machine by transmitting radiation through the tank's foam and metal skin. The scans will help verify repairs associated with cracks on tops of two 21-foot-long U-shaped aluminum brackets called stringers, which line the intertank, and help engineers determine what caused the cracks during Discovery's launch attempt on November 5th. Managers and engineers will review the test data to determine the next course of action. Discovery's next launch opportunity for its STS-133 mission to the International Space Station is no earlier than February 3rd. This is a high voltage cable, ground cable, and coolant lines. So the control unit upstairs sends whatever kilovoltage we need in amperage. There's a filament here that heats up, emits electrons. Those electrons are streamed to a target and makes extra. image plate. Uh, it takes place of the old film techniques. And this sheet right here is the lead backing for uh, backscatter to prevent backscatter x-rays from changing any of the image pattern. But all this is enclosed up there in a dark, darkened uh, cassette. And then we seal it and it's ready for use. Did it go in? My position on, on these strainer locations and correspond that with the uh, x-ray uh, equipment outside and that way we shoot the same strainer um, the, the next shot that's required. So and then to re remove it, it's just the, the opposite procedure.
and then we would take that in for development. 